Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect SharePoint to SQL Server. So we're integrating the power of SharePoint with the robust capabilities of SQL Server. Connecting SharePoint to SQL Server allows you to manage and analyze your SharePoint data, the efficiency and scalability of an SQL Server database. So stick around as I guide you through the steps to connect SharePoint to SQL Server and let's enhance your data management and analysis capabilities. Let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open SharePoint site. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. In your case, you can open whatever browser you want. Once you do so, go to this URL section and simply type share points.com and hit the enter button this should take you onto the microsoft's website as you can see microsoft.com and sharepoint option if you have a problem in the language like this you can simply scroll down to the bottom of the page on the left here in, in language click on it and select english international or select the country that you're living if you find it right there now, what you'll need to do is simply go and log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create an account. And before even create an account, you'll have to go and select a plan, one of the plans that they're offering. This is if you want to pay yearly, this is monthly. The same, they don't have any discount like other websites if you pay yearly. So it's better, I guess, in my opinion, to pay monthly. So even if they say here 16%, if you go and type here, okay, never mind. Like, yeah, they have discounts. I thought like they didn't have it earlier. So I thought it didn't, my bad. So it seems like they have it. So basically just choose a plan for your own. Then make sure to go and have access to your SharePoint and option. Once you log into your SharePoint site and navigate to the list or library that contains the data you want to connect to SQL Server, ensure that you have the necessary permissions to access and manage the SharePoint data. Of course, for me, I don't have a plan. My plan expired one month ago, so I'll not be able to show you exactly, but keep, st stick around because we will explore everything through an article that will go through side by side. So as a summary for what I will going to do, I'm going to tell you verbally everything. So once you open the SharePoint site and uh, access, of course, your account, you will have to navigate to the list that contains the data you want to connect. And of course, make sure that you have the necessary permissions. Then you'll be able to export the list to uh, Excel. You can click on export to Excel option, usually found in the list or library tab. Then you'll have to open the XQL server management studio, which is SSMS and create a new database, import the data from Excel, configure the data source and destination, and execute the imports and verify the data in SQL Server, and you'll basically go be good to go. Of course, just I will go and find now an article to show you exactly the details provided by Microsoft. So I'll just type here whatever I want, which is connect share points to SQL Server. So here, as an example, I'll find a Microsoft article and even another person-like article. We can go through uh, them both. So as you can see in this article, creates external uh, content type for SQL Server and SharePoint. If you want this, you will have to go, or we will have to go through this article. So define the general information, define general office behavior, Create a connection to the external data, which is what we want. But we have other things like select a table, view routine, divine operation, other options that you may want to read if you are interested about. What we're going to go through is this create a connection to the external data. So first, to specify the SQL Server database to so external content type, click here to discover external data source and define op uh, op operations. Click Add Connection, select SQL Server, and external data source type, selection dialog box, and then click on OK. In the SQL Server connection dialog box, enter the name of the server, the database name, and optional description, and then click on OK. To choose an authentication mode, select one of the following. Connect with user identity, uses the pass through authentication mode, or connect with 
impersonated, impersonated Windows identity, uses the window credentials authentication mo mode, or connects with impersonated custom identity, uses the RDB credentials authentication mode. In the secure store application ID box, enter the target's application ID name created in the secure store service. Then click on OK. That will make SharePoint uh, Designer validates and sends the connection information. And if you see messages, you must resolve them before you continue. This is for create an external uh, content type for SQL Server. If you want to connect SharePoint, first of all, data as SQL Server linked server. As you can see, you will be able, first of all, to log in or configure the SharePoint connectivity for my X for SQL Server. Connectivity to SharePoint uh, SQL linked server is made possibly through C data connected or connects cloud. To work with SharePoint with data from uh, SQL linked server, we start by creating and configuring SharePoint connection. So log in uh, connects cloud, click on connection and click on plus. As an example, then you will be able to select SharePoint from add connection panel. Then Enter the necessary authentication properties to connect to your SharePoint. Set the URL property to the base SharePoint site or to a subsite. This allows you to query and list any other SharePoint entities defined for the site or subsite. The user and password properties under the authentication section must be set to valid SharePoint. User credentials when using SharePoint or premise. If you are connecting to SharePoint online, uh, sets the SharePoint edition to SharePoint online along with the user and password connection string property for more details or connecting to SharePoint online. See the getting started chapter to help the documentation. So basically after that click in here create and test navigate into that and add personal access token and you'll be good to go. After that, you'll be able to connect SharePoint server using Connects Cloud. So open my uh, Microsoft's SQL and the Objects Explorer open uh, that on obj uh, Objects, as you can see, Explorer. You can simply go to Linked Server. And the new Linked Server dialog opens on the general page. Enter the following informations, as you can see. Then select the security page. As the bottom, at the bottom, select the radio button label B, made uh, using security contest like this. And then click on OK to create server. A new linked server can now be used to access the data in the data source you specify. If you need to access data for more sources, create another linked server for each one. And you can now execute queries and do whatever you want. So there you have it. You successfully connected your SharePoint to SQL Server. If you have a question that is a specific topic that you would like me to cover, just put it down below in the comment section as this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.